Hello, and welcome to Painting with Painted Dogs. Today we will be painting a simple portrait of a painted dog in honor of Colorado Gives Day on December 4th. So the first thing we're going to do is dip into our yellow paint that we have right here. And we're just going to kind of make the general shape of a painted dog. So first we'll start with a simple circle for the head. Just like that. And from here, we're going to add on to the head, the ears. Now, painted dogs have very large ears, which they use when they're hunting to hear their prey. You can make these ears just as big as you want to. This is your world, and you can make your painted dog have smaller ears or bigger ears, whatever you'd like. The next thing we're going to do is give our circle head a little bit of a snout. So we're going to taper the end of it. Just like this. You don't want it to be too much of a triangle, or else your painted dog will end up looking a little mouse like. So make sure you have a pretty good base right there. So that right there is just about perfect. The next thing we're going to do is draw the body and the front legs. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make kind of a shallow S shape, just like this. And the bottom of your S is going to be about just as long as you want your painted dog's legs to be. So that's good for me. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Yes. The next thing we're going to do is thicken our lines up a little bit to give our dog some uh, wider legs. Just like that. And then we're going to put some paws at the end. Just like this. Some happy little paws right there for our painted dog. And on the other side as well. All right, once you have the basic head shape and the legs of your dogs, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill in the body. So you can make a uh, small semicircle right here, connecting the two legs. You can make it shallow or you can make it a little bigger if you'd like. And then we're going to fill it in right here while leaving a small line of white between where you want your legs and your body to go. You can connect it at the top right here. And same with our legs. We're going to make sure we leave a little bit of space between the legs, the body, and the head that you know where your, your line is, where it stops. Just like that. All right, the last thing we're going to do with our yellow is put some legs on this guy right here. So you're going to take your brush, and you're going to come, I'd say, right a little bit below the halfway point of your legs, and you're just going to make an oval, just like this. Fill that in as well. Then you're going to take your yellow and you're going to make the feet. So the back feet are a lot longer than the front paws. And they're going to come out just like this. You can do a straight line. Oops. I'm going to do a straight line. And then taper your foot down like this. And do another straight line right here. Just like this. We're going to do that on our other side as well. Back 
Thank you. Now you can make your legs bigger if you'd like. You can make them come up higher. Just like that. Oh, and we are going to add the tail with our yellow. So you can put the tail in any shape you want. I personally like this kind of shape right here. And painted dogs have kind of a, a thick tail, so you want to make it a little bit bigger. Just like that. Like I said, this is your painted dog. You can make your painted dog whatever shape tail you like. All right, so now our painted dog kind of looks like a lion, but once we add on the details, it'll start looking more like a dog. So we're done with our big brush right now, and we can go ahead and wash that off. Next, we're gonna take our thin brush little guy, and we're gonna start in with black. We're going to go ahead and take our black and we're going to outline the face, just the bottom part right here. Now if your yellow paint is still a little wet, you might need to wait a few seconds to, get, to dry. I'm using acrylic paint, so fortunately it dries pretty quickly. All right, now we're going to add space for our eyes. So you can draw a line right here. You're going to come up like this. We'll eventually put our eyes in here. And we're going to do that on this side as well. All right. Just like that. You can continue to fill in the black right here. It's almost like he's got sunglasses. All right. Now this next part, we're going to add some fur to make it shaped more like a dog's face. And all we're going to do is take our brush, and we're going to make little strokes right, coming right off of his face. Just like that. You can make your painted dog as furry or not furry as you'd like. I'm going to bring his muzzle down a little more. Feel free to. Just like that. And then paint the dogs usually have a crest right up the forehead that you're going to put in as well. Just like that. Now you're welcome to put your black wherever you'd like, but I'm going to put my painted dog having black ears right here. So what I'm going to do is make kind of a crescent shape up in the ears, and then fill that in. Just like that. And do the same on the other side. We are. Now, if you'd like, you can also add a little bit of fur to their ears because they do have quite a bit of fur around there. So, all you're going to do is make some little triangles in this area right here. Just like that. And you're welcome to add a little more fur on the sides. All right. That's all we're going to do for the face right now. We'll go back in and add some eyes and a nose later. Next thing we're going to do is outline a little bit of our dog. So you're going to come down to your, to your legs, and you're just going to kind of outline, fill in that spot where you left uh, white. Just like this. And you're just going to fall. 
all of the spaces you already left free. Now when you're painting like this, you want to be careful on areas that are still wet. You don't drag your hand over them. Just keep an eye on for that. And your lines don't have to be that. It's a little artistic. Maybe they're not quite within the realms of what you've already painted. And that's what we learned in the coloring books from the little. This is your masterpiece, and you can do whatever you'd like. And maybe it looks a little more artsy if you're not following the exact lines. Now to give our tail a little bit of a fur uh, texture, what we're going to do is we're going to take one side and we're going to outline it. And then we're going to go along the other side and just make some, some uh, short strokes like this. You can see that that gives it uh, quite a nice little fur texture right there. All right, uh, next thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, brush off of our, our uh, wash off our black of our brush. Okay. And we're going to dry that off real quick. Then we're going to start in with our whites now. So you don't need a ton of the white. We're just going to use it to emphasize some spaces. Um, so the first one we're going to do is we're going to add some fur right here. You do that like we just did with the ears. So you just make some triangles. Just like this. And that's where your dog's chest fur is going to be. Just like so. Now, if you accidentally paint over your black, you can always go back and paint over it. That's the beauty of acrylic paint. Alright, uh, most painted dogs have a white belly, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and give mine. You are free to do whatever kind of belly you want. You can do a black belly, you can do a yellow belly, you could even do a purple belly if you'd really like to. For the sake of this video, we're going to go fight. You can go ahead and connect that white right up into your chest. Just like so. You also might want to add a little bit of white to your ears. Just dab that right in there. Like now the other thing a lot of painted dogs have a white tipped tail. So we're going to go ahead and give our guy that. Just like so. And remember, you don't have to fill up all of the space you painted before. Do whatever you'd like. Just like so. Now I'm going to give my painted dog some white paws and white feet. And you can vary how far up you want that to go. Some painted dogs have just their toes white, some have a whole leg white. It is up to you. This is your painted dog. It's your world. So I think I'll give my guy a, one white little foot, and one white leg. And I'll give his back feet some white as well. Yes. Right. So we have the basics of our painted dog down right now. The next thing we're going to do is have a little fun and just put little markings wherever we'd like. When you look at a painted dog, their spots are different, just like our fingerprints. Everyone is uh, different. They have spots anywhere they want, um, and everyone has no has no one has the same spots as anyone else. So maybe we won't want to put a spot there. Uh, we might want to put spots on his leg. I'm going to make some eyebrows with spots, which you're welcome to do. Maybe his shoulders got quite a bit of white. Put some white down here. Just wherever you'd like. And white wherever you want. You can also take your white and go back and 
define your muzzle a little bit if you'd like. Just like that. And I'm going to call that good for the white. So next you're going to wash your brush off. And we're going to go right back to black and add in more spots there as well. As well as define some of our lines we may have colored over. So I'm just going to go ahead and outline his feet down here so that the white doesn't blend into the canvas. Just like that. Nice. And I'm going to add a few uh, stripes right here so we can show that he has toes. Just like that. Next thing I'm going to do with the black is uh, create some of that fur looking style right here. So we're going to take it and again, we're just going to make some quick strokes just like that to create our chest hair. Now I'm going to go back in I'm going to, just like we did with the white, just kind of add some spots wherever I'd like. Maybe this leg is a little darker than the other legs. make that whole leg black. That's good. We'll do some black up here. And kind of black shoulder. And we'll also put some spots down here. I'll add a little black to the base of my Well, that high-pitched squeaking sound you can hear is actually the dogs themselves. They kind of make a sound that you wouldn't expect to come from a dog. It is definitely them. Alright guys, once you're satisfied with the spots that you have, you're going to wash off your brush again. And we're going to add in some facial details like a nose and eyes. So for the nose, I just take some white. You can just make a small little circle right here. You can go ahead and fill that in. You can put your nose wherever you'd like. I think right in the middle of that tapered area is a good spot. For you. And the last thing we're going to do is paint in the eyes. So you can choose any color you'd like. I personally like light blue, so that's what I'm going with. And you just kind of set them right here. In that little space where you put your black before for the eyes. And the very last thing we're going to do is sign our name so everyone knows that we created this masterpiece. And there you have it. That's your painted dog. Thank you very much for joining me this evening. I hope that you too know that you can draw a painted dog. And remember to give on Colorado Gives Day, December 4th. Dog bless.